Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is SAT TV Week. Now I'm here at Communicasia and I'm pleased to be joined by Roman Belsch, who is the President and CEO of SES. Now Roman, tell me a little bit about how SES is evolving. Yeah, as the S uh, is uh, doing well, we are uh, just about to change um, in our uh, structure and also in our priorities. Traditionally, we have been a company strong and still are strong in the developed markets, Europe and North America, but we have a growing importance of the emerging markets. So we are adapting also our organization to this change and uh, our aim is to get as relevant to the customers in the emerging market than we currently are in the developed markets of Western Europe and North America. Now you mentioned you're changing in the company. I know you're streamlining your management. Uh, why is that? Yeah, uh, three reasons. First, uh, we have a very ambitious growth plan with 12 satellites under construction and obviously we need to have an organization that can really address these challenges and sell the capacity. Second, uh, with the focus on customers and the focus on emerging markets, we want to have a stronger presence in the emerging markets, thus also restructuring a little bit uh, the headcount by having less people in the developed and more people in the emerging markets. And last but not least, all of this should also help us to uh, increase efficiency and really to continue to do our business even more effectively. Now, what is the biggest challenge facing SES in Asia. In Asia, uh, I would say but it's a regulatory environment. I think it's not Europe, it's not North America. Um, but otherwise, I think we are doing pretty well. We are focusing on DTH, so we have had good successes in DTH in India, for example, where two out of six pay TV platforms are on our satellite. So um, I would not speak about challenges, maybe more broadly, and not only for Asia, but in general. Maybe long term the challenge will be to keep satellites meaningful and part of the development that's currently taking place in order to roll out terrestrial warfare infrastructures. And so to make sure that those who are providing services via terrestrial infrastructure also acknowledge that we are operating a satellite infrastructure that can add value to their service provision. So basically convince telcos to include satellite infrastructure in their business model. Now, are there any regions that SES operate in which are very different from anywhere else that you have to tailor your you know, services specifically? I would say all the regions are, are different from each other. So, um, but um, definitely maybe you have commonalities. For example, when you look at DTH, uh, DTH is more or less about the same activities. Maybe the audience is different probably the content is different, but uh, the way you do it technically or from a business perspective, it, it's remaining the same. So I would say what is the most important one is that we are in the region, that we are perceived as really having a local presence and uh, that we are not perceived as an European-based satellite operator coming into the markets and simply uh, being willing to develop this market. So, uh, as we always say, it's being, uh, let's say, German in Germany, being uh, Brazilian in Brazil, and uh, maybe being Indian in India. Lastly, why is Asia so important to SES? Well, when you look at the world map, uh, needless to say that uh, there are a couple of fast-growing uh, regions in the world, and definitely Asia is very high on that list. So I would say Asia and Latin America are those markets where from the demographic viewpoint you have the highest growth, the highest potential. In addition, also in these two markets comes the fact that uh, with the increase of the revenue per capita, you have also a, a growing middle class which is also creating the foundation for demand for example for pay TV and for broadband services. So Asia, not only for satellites, uh, Asia is definitely uh, the place where growth will happen. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure.